Welcome back to the Aussie Prepper channel and today we're going to install a custom safety to my HW97K air rifle. This is all that we're installing today. It is an oversized brass safety. Now the safety of the rifle is back here. What happens is with these, when you cock the air rifle, the safety automatically activates. And then for each individual shot, you have to deactivate the safety. I'm not even sure this is going to show up on video. The safety is that tiny little button right here. And I'll show you a close up of it now. And this little safety just pops out each time you cock the rifle. The air rifle is fitted with the gold colored record trigger and trigger adjustment there. So what I've done is I've ordered this matching safety, oversized safety that that will go roughly there and I think that's going to look good because the only thing gold on this whole rifle is the trigger apart from the little bit of gold on the um, rifle scope here and I think having this in gold or brass colored it's actually brass will tie everything together nicely plus it will give better indication of whether the safety is on or off so we're just going to install that right now. So there's a fastener on each side of the stock here that will have to be undone. And there's two further fasteners near the trigger guard down here. So we'll take those off now and then we'll see how we go about installing the safety. There's two little washers on there. These aren't real tight, okay? These don't have to be overly tight. If I can actually find some torque settings for this, I will put them up on the screen and we will torque these up later. Now as you just saw that separates quite easily once those four fasteners have been taken out. And there's your trigger assembly. Now we have to take that out and from the information that I've got we have to drive out that little pin there with a punch and drop the back of the trigger out to be able to take the safety out. And I've also been made aware that there's a spring in there and we've got to be very, very careful that spring doesn't get lost. The smallest pin punch that I've got is two and a half millimeters, and I'm hoping that's going to be small enough. And it looks like the 2.5 millimeter will be just perfect. Now that came out very, very easily. I'm just going to keep my fingers on the safety because I don't really want that getting lost. Okay, now the safety is just dropped out. That's it there. And the spring is right here. So we'll get our new safety, put the spring on, and we'll insert it back into the rifle. And we will push the trigger back up. And we will get our pin and we'll put the pin back in. Now that seemed pretty easy so far. And there we go, we've now got our brass coloured oversized safety there. And there's the standard one in comparison. Now it's just a matter of cleaning the fingerprints off here so we don't get any rust happening. That's the last thing we want. And we will reinsert everything back into the stock. And now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. There you go, job done. We've got our brass coloured oversized safety fitted. Now I have tested the safety and everything works perfectly. If you have any questions about anything you saw in today's video, 
leave your question down below and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos from Aussie Prepper. Thanks for watching and bye for now.